All right, just parked at the, the Springfield Health and Fitness. We're gonna go in and do chest and shoulders. It's gonna be sick. And I just now changed my, my workout split. So let me, let me actually pull it up. Just, I put it into like my Snapchat memories because I look in there often so I can always see it. Not that like I'm gonna get in the gym and forget what I'm doing, but it's nice to kind of get it mapped out in like day one, day two, etc. So we're moving to an eight day split. Day one is gonna be legs, like I did yesterday. And now today, chest and shoulders, which shoulders consisting of like side delts, and that's pretty much it. I kinda, I don't really hit my front delts too often just because I feel like I work them enough when I do so many uh, incline movements. But day three, back and rear delts, just hitting back alone, trying to hit it hard and then not neglecting rear delts. So giving it its own little day to hit them. And then day four, biceps and triceps, easy money. That'll be a fun day. Day five, rest. So it'll be like an eight day split. Instead of hitting everything twice a week, it'll be a little bit more than twice a week. But still, I think this is going to be a good split. This isn't, this is like, I think it's sort of similar to Sam's split. I don't know what, I think he might do buys, tries, and shoulders together, and then just chest, just back. And I think he just ended up splitting up legs into a separate day of hamstrings and quads. I, I did do that over like all of winter pretty much, but I feel like it's gonna be good for me to kind of do them together, have like a big leg day, especially it being the first day back after the rest day, so. I think that should be good, but let's go downstairs and let's start hitting some, some heavy chest movements. The, the goal of the workout today is gonna to be high intensity and hitting it hard. That's, that's pretty much it. So let's get down there, let's go do this. Also, before we leave, I toyed around with some settings on the camera, so I should look a little more clear. Like we have like some backlighting here that's a little bit bright, but I think this looks a lot better. So let's, I'll keep messing around with it, but I hope it looks better now. We're gonna, we're gonna see how it looks in the gym, but let's, let's get into this, let's go. Oh. All right, so I haven't done incline barbell in like, in kind of a long time. So I'm a little skeptical to just, you know, jump right into the 225. So we're still warming up. I just hit like a plate, a plate and a 10, now a plate and a 25. Honestly, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to rep out the 2225 like usual. That was like peak bulk, 200 pound me. And now, honestly, this morning I weighed in at like 193, 192-ish. So we'll see if I still got it, but not trying to push it too crazy. That, again, I'm trying to lift where I'm the least injury prone. Oh, fuck. All right, honestly, that's typically what I do when I fail. Again, I'm not fucking throwing it. <laughs> oh, that was a good set though, fuck. Honestly, should have just done a drop set and not failed. But let's go upstairs and do the fucking chest press machine anyway.
Oh. Oh. Yeah, it feels good. I think one more of these and then there's this other kind of chest press machine I want to use. So we'll jump over that and probably finish with some flies. Let's go to the other chest press machine. And like you can see, kind of comes in and out. So when I press up, I kind of pull it in closer to get that extra squeeze. But I do feel like the angle kind of hits a good amount of my front delt and my shoulders. So I'm still getting a lot of chest and a lot of squeezing, but a little more front delt that I would like. So we're gonna do this for at least one or two sets and then just finish off with some flies. Good. let's do some let's go find some cable to do a fly on or like the cable pushover Let's go to our shoulders. So that was like 14-ish reps. I'm gonna go a little bit heavier and try and get into like the eight range. But man, those last few are tough. So let's go a little heavier for one more. Let's go a little heavier for one more and then do some drop sets. <clears throat>
going over here. Ate it. All right, last set for me. Well, last set for you guys. I'm gonna do like two more. But guys, let me know down below what do you think of the camera quality? Because I toyed around with some settings with kind of some lighting. I had to reset some stuff. I think I just got bored and toyed around with stuff and I fucked it all up. But I think I fixed it. Looking back on some of the clips, the quality looks a lot better. So let me know. But I'll let you know how my fucking shoulders feel after this set. to the car oh oh my goodness done done with that I gotta drive back to school change real quick and then have a quick protein shake and then I gotta go to golf practice which will be inside in the golf room today and then that'll be from 3 to 5 and then at 5 we have our golf team lift so really, I mean, you guys just saw me get my lift out of the way. I'm not gonna be going super crazy. Just because I'm already, I'm already tired, gonna have practice, so I'll be moving around. I'll be doing some of the movements, but minimal weight will be. <laughs> it's always funny, I go into those golf lifts and a lot of, there could be like other teams in there, like, you know, the baseball team might be in there and they see me moving like really lightweight because I already lifted today. And they're like, man, I guess, you know, I guess Mark Sulik just isn't that strong, which <laughs> not that I give a shit, but I think it's just funny sometimes when I'm, they're like, are you sure that's all you can do? I'm like, dude, this is all I can do right now. Anyway, done with the lift, chest went crazy, shoulders went super good. But guys, I mean, I think this is gonna be the end of an era no more, no more 200, 200. I already achieved 200 pounds. And I'm gonna be honest, 200 ball speed was like trying to shoot for the stars. You know, I was, I was shooting for the stars, but we only hit the moon. So we did get the ball speed up a little bit. We were kind of at a disadvantage with having like a shorter driver shaft just because you can only get so much out of that. But it was still a fun series, I enjoyed it. 200 pounds, I mean, that was my main goal. Like I wanted to, I wanted to put on some size, which I think I did. I mean, we went from benching 185 for like 10 to 225 for 10. So I was super happy with the progress that I made. Obviously, you know, it's gonna hinder up and down with like gaining and losing weight but I think this was a great series. Now, it's time to cut. So I've been talking about like dropping the calories down a little bit, which I have been doing. And then just from golfing alone more, like all of our practices, if we go out and play nine holes or 18 holes, that's really like walking two miles or four miles or five miles, however many. So the cardio is definitely just up and I'm just moving around more. So even when I drop down the calories, we're gonna be going down in weight. So I'm already down to like 193. And I think a good weight we're gonna to get to, I mean, honestly, getting back to like peeled, like pretty low body fat percentage, that'll probably be at like 170, 175, obviously, I don't want to go below 170 just because I want to look like I lift and I hate to say it, but actually 
I bet 175 will be our goal weight. I'm gonna say that's the goal. Just because if I'm just a 170 pounder and me being 5'11", like almost six foot, you're not that big. You're just not that big at 170. Like you don't look that big. You look big at, you know, 200 pounds lean. You look big at 190 pounds lean, but right now, that's just not where I'm at as a lifter. I'm like in the, let's say I bulked really hard. I really was ambitious to put on a lot of weight. So we've got a ways to go to get back down to peeled. And that's when all the, all the physique checks will be coming, everything will be going. But I gotta think of a new series name for the cut. I think, I've been thinking of some names, you guys will just have to see, but I wanna do more questions in cardio because it promotes cardio, and that's what you wanna be doing on the lift. More full days of eating, kinda keep me accountable, eating the right stuff. But back when, back when I would do cuts, when I was in like high school, after I put on my newbie gains, I was like, all right, it's time to cut even though I was probably like 14% body fat, like something pretty, you know, fairly low, I would be eating like no carbs. And I felt like to me, that's the best way to cut just because I'm a snacker. I'm a eat a lot of chips kind of guy. So if I just don't even have any at all, I'm eventually gonna lose that craving. But that'll be for another video. 200, 200 series, done. It was awesome, I'm glad everybody came around. I had super fun, you know, especially when I would meet you guys in the gym. This has been an awesome journey, just from going from being super scared and nervous to filming in the gym, to now kinda being a lot more comfortable on camera. I'll have to, I'll have to go back and look at like day one and see how I was acting, because it was, it was really hard. But now I'm glad that I did it. It was something that I'm proud of. And I'm glad to say that you guys were a part of it. So if you've been watching from the beginning, big ups. If you're just now starting to watch, buckle up because uh, this cut is gonna go crazy. I will see you guys in the, in the cutting series, whatever I name it. So stay tuned.